Hi everyone, it's Jennifer from Fiberflux. In this video, I'm going to show you how to crochet into the back bump or bar of your crochet chain. I've had a couple of people ask me about this, so I thought I'd make a video just to show you. Now, normally when we crochet and start a project, we make a starting chain and then we work our stitches into the chain. So there's two ways you can do it. You can work into the chain in the front of the chain into this loop here. So if we were to make a single crochet, we would just insert the hook into the front of the chain like this and then work our stitch. Okay, so that's kind of like the traditional way. Now some people like to work into this back bump or bar of the chain, depending, some people call it the bump, some people call it the ridge, some people call it um, the bar, so what we want to do, so we worked into the front of the chain and this will produce a little bit of a different edge than when we work into this back bump. Okay, so what we want to do is look at our chain. So this is the front of our chain. It looks like little V's. Now if we turn it over, it gets its name chain because it kind of looks like a chain link fence. Okay, so you can see all the way across these bumps. These are the bumps that you can also work your stitches into. Okay, so let's do that. Let's turn to the back here, okay? Now let's locate this first bump. And we're just gonna insert our hook. Now I'm gonna be doing single crochet stitches. You can do any kind of stitch into the back bump, okay? So just work your stitch right into that. And then finish your stitch as you normally would, okay? Go into the next bump. And just work your stitch. You might have to flip it over and angle it a little differently than you normally would work a chain. Okay, again we're just working into these back bumps. I'm just going to do this all the way across and that way um, we can look at these and compare them when we're finished. Okay, and then this last little bump here will work our single crochet into that as well. Okay, so now that we've done this across so here, it's just a subtle difference, but it, it does look a little bit more compact, I think. So let's take our hook out. So up to about this point, we worked into the front of the chain. See how it has like a kind of like an angled uh, loopy effect. And then from about here back, we worked into the back bump. See how it's like a little tighter and more compact? It actually uh, slants a little bit differently. These slant this way. And if we turn it, it looks fairly similar, but uh, you can the little V's are a little bit more compact and, and, and more um, a little bit neater, actually. So either way, you can work either way you want, and um, it just gives you a different option. Now, some patterns actually tell you to work into this back bar or bump. So next time you come across that in a pattern, you'll know what to do. So that is how you work into the back bump or bar of your crochet chain. Thanks so much for watching and be sure and click the subscribe button to get all the latest Fiberflux video updates. Thanks again.